In this video we are going to talk about the DEX layout section of the preferences. So the first thing is called the deck flavor. In deck flavor you can pick and choose what kind of flavor you want for your decks. So for deck A you can choose whether it's track deck which is currently selected, whether it's a remix deck, whether it's a stem deck or a live input deck. Same for decks C, D and B. Now deck C and D are not shown right now but you can make them show by checking this checkbox called show C and D decks and they will be shown right here. Deck layout is how the deck is presented. Basically um, this controls the level of controls that are available inside the deck. So right now deck A and B are in advanced mode which gives you the most uh, controls available uh, that you can control within the deck. To change that to a very simple deck you can click on the micro and this will be shown as very small decks. Um, that's fine if you want to play like this uh, but usually you probably want more controls than just a simple way. The good advantage of the simple way if you choose to play this way is that it gives you it always keeps your browser in maximized um, view. You can also control the browser uh, via this magnifying glass to make it full view if you wanted to. To change uh, the deck size, the deck layout from micro to small, you can just pick small and it will give you more controls uh, to, to play with. Small, essential, full, and advanced. Now tempo fader you can make it available. Uh, tempo fader is this control right here and you can make it make it viewable uh, by checking this checkbox. Usually you want this uh, control to be able to control the tempo of the deck. Most hardware DJ decks like Pioneer they come with the built-in tempo control, so you'll probably want to leave this here as well. Platter scope, this is specific to Tractor uh, Scratch Pro 2 uh, and this requires special hardware and software installed, so we're not going to touch this section in this video. Uh, the grid mode, I'm just going to show you what the track in here. So the grid mode, uh, basically it's these little vertical lines right here that appear across your big grid and you can choose how to present them. You can make them dim if they stand out too much. This allows you to view the big grid, grid better. You can make it ticks where the small ticks would appear up at the top or you can make it invisible completely if you don't find that you need that but usually you would probably uh, leave that on at least in some degree. Show minute markers. These minute markers are these white vertical lines right here which gives you a visual cue of, uh, of how many minutes are in your track. Uh, you can uh, you can show this or not show this, it's up to you. Usually it's a, it's a good idea to leave this on because it gives the approximate um, uh, clue as where you are in your track besides the obvious countdown that's happening right here in this section. Now the, the color mode of the grid is can be infrared x-ray or spectrum. Uh, it's usually up to your personal preference what you want to leave this at. Uh, my personal preference is to leave it at ultraviolet 
and uh, I think that's fine. It's very neutral on your eyes and gives you all the necessary details that um, are visible. Cover art. Cover art is something that's shown in the deck uh, that you can choose to show and this is probably uh, good to show it. Uh, it doesn't really add that much information because the track information can be shown here and we'll go over uh, in more detail about this menu right here and what you can control what's visible here but it's still probably nice to, to have it just for the eye candy. And show face mirror. This is the face mirror for your tempo bands. Uh, it should show shows you the face mirror. And uh, it's probably a good idea to leave this on so uh, you know uh, it helps you with the with adjusting the tempo. And this is it for the dex layout.